Hello there, minions. Today, I got a pretty quick one. I'm gonna teach you how to get the Become War medals to complete the challenges for the 80s event in Call of Duty Cold War. So let's go talk about it. Okay, so first, just the real quick thing is you're probably here because you want to know what is the Become War Medal. So here is the challenge, a war you won't believe, earn 25 Become War Medals while using automatic weapons. And it doesn't tell you what that medal is. So I am going to, first of all, before I dig into telling you the best ways to get it, I'm just going to show you what it is. So under medals, because Treyarch likes to screw everything up, they managed to fuck this up too. So this is the Become War Medal for multiplayer. It is called Fully Loaded, and it is to kill two or more enemies rapidly with an automatic weapon without reloading. So this is the Become War Medal. And let me prove it to you by backing out and going to Zombies, because you can also earn this in Zombies. But in Zombies... Do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, oh, good, it's not... Here we go. It's actually called become war. They named it properly for zombies, but not for multiplayer. In zombies, the requirement is different. It is kill 10 or more enemies rapidly with an automatic weapon without reloading. Whereas in multiplayer, it's only a double kill or more, so two or more. But that is what the medal is. So now let's move into some examples of the best ways to get this medal, uh, to complete this challenge, uh, and how you can do it the most efficiently. All right, so I feel it is also my due diligence to explain that Become War is a Rambo reference, as all of these are intended to be kind of 80s action movie references. Um, as the games start out with the rock and jamming 80s music to try and, oh, it's a 80s, you know, some of this is a little bit over the top, a little cheesy, um, but just like the medals that they managed to not rename properly, there are also some issues still with Cold War as it still crashes. <laughs> oh my god, this stuff pisses me off so much. But we will persist. So there you see it, getting the Become War slash fully loaded metal in multiplayer is just a matter of getting yourself a double kill without reloading. Now, um, the best things that you can do in multiplayer to help yourself be able to get a double kill without reloading is, in general, aim for a larger magazine size. Here, I just happen to be using the Groza because I wanted to rank it up. I haven't ranked up most of the weapons in Cold War to max level. The Groza was one of the lowest ranks, so I picked it, put the biggest magazine I had available, which was 50 rounds, and just tried to kill people quickly without reloading. So there you go. You can see it pop up at the top of the screen whenever you get it. Fully loaded, that is the Become War medal that you want to get while playing in multiplayer. Um, the problem being with multiplayer, in addition to Cold War multiplayer, still just not really being very good is that you will only get, I mean, depending on the lobby, I guess, a couple per round. You could, well, it's gotta be in the 80s playlist, so it's not like you can go grind this on Nuketown. So, it just is what it is. Here, I managed to get a couple guys lined up, boom, fully loaded, so pay attention to those popping up on the screen. But in reality, in multiplayer, you're probably not gonna get, in a good game, more than a couple of these per game, in addition to the fact that multiplayer is also just kind of still not, not great in Cold War <laughs> for, for many reasons. A lot of issues still like we've talked about. But uh, for this, I would actually recommend Zombies over Multiplayer. Just because it's much easier, it's much less frustrating, you're not dependent on finding decent lobbies or skill really. This is just a matter of loading into Zombies and using a couple of strategies to like guarantee um, that you're going to be getting these uh, medals. So I, in honor of the Rambo reference of Become War, chose the M60 light machine gun. I had the 100 round drum uh, unlocked for it. I think by default it's like 60 or something like that. I'm not sure. But 
any of the LMGs, sh LMGs should be plenty, especially if you aim for headshots, but I was just hip firing here because I got some ammo, but I would recommend using the, the objectives and stuff. So there you can see it popped up and it was actually called Become War. So in Zombies, you'll even see it popped up properly as Become War. So you need to get 10 kills rapidly without reloading in Zombies for this to pop. And so just your favorite automatic weapon with a high capacity magazine really, um, go in there and you can just train up random zombies on the map. That will work, although it'll be difficult because they typically are in groups of like three, four, five. Um, so this is for instance a, you know, one of the orange crystal uh, world events and um, I would recommend just doing this on world one where it's easier to kill the zombies. And, you know, it's just do level one and exfil. And so I didn't even try to complete the event, right? I just activated it because that causes a lot of zombies to spawn. And then whenever I trained up about 10, I killed them all, reloaded, let 10 more train up, killed them. Here, I just kind of ran across a big group of zombies. So I decided to stop and see if I could kill 10 quickly. And you'll see, just like in multiplayer, right? You wanna just keep killing zombies until it pops. And then when it pops, you know, you, you'll probably need to reload because you've killed a lot of zombies. But if not, you also need to pause for a few seconds to let it reset. Because if you kill 30 zombies in a row, you're not going to get three medals, right? You have to let the cooldown reset before you can start a new string of zombies. It's 10 or more kills in a sink, you know, without reloading. So uh, again, here I'm using the Dragon Relic to train up some zombies to get more zombies to spawn. So that's another way to kind of help increase your spawn rates. Um, this is a... Requiem radio call. Uh, I found that I actually had to aggro the uh, bosses essentially to get the zombies to spawn. They weren't spawning until I aggroed the bosses and since there were Tempests here I went ahead and killed them first. Um, but I didn't kill the Manglers. I just kind of let them slowly uh, chase me. So here I killed the Tempest because they irritate me. And then it causes more zombies to spawn. Uh, you see on the radar there's a bunch so I let them train up and wait until there's about 10. Give myself a good line of sight and just start mowing them down. So zombies is just way more fun to do this. I mean, you just get to literally slaughter zombies to get these medals. And I did only the first level, only the first world, and then I exfilled just because I didn't have a whole lot of time. The whole thing took me like 25 minutes, right? Which is about how long it will take you to do about two matches in multiplayer. But whereas in multiplayer, you will probably um, only get a couple, two, three uh, medals in that amount of time. I got, I think, 14, 12 or 14 <laughs> Become War medals in 20 minutes of Zombies. So this is a much faster, much more efficient way to complete this challenge. And, and honestly, it's just way more fun than trying to grind out multiplayer. Now, there are other challenges. Um, so like, you have to complete seven matches of the 80s playlist and win three which i'm finding it hard to win any of those there are zombies alternatives to that where you just have to get to round five in a round based zombies mode seven times or get to round 15 three times in round based zombies modes um i don't i haven't found much interest i haven't really wanted to spend much time in the round based zombies modes so an outbreak i don't know if it applies to outbreak but i'm not going to round five or round 15 that consistently in outbreak um so i'm gonna rely on multiplayer for those other ones but for these become war medals this is just a better way to get it as well as the fact that uh, it took me a while just to figure out what the Be become war medal is both because they don't describe it and because it's named improperly in multiplayer so Hopefully this was, that's what you came looking for and hopefully I was able to help you figure that out and, uh, and that's what you uh, needed to know about how to get these Become War medals in Zombies. So uh, as I exfilled here, again, just difficulty level one, that's all I did in and out. Like I said, I think the total gameplay on that was like 22 minutes or something like that and I'll cycle through to the medals here. So you can see in that one game, like I said, a little over 20 minutes, 14 actual Become War medals. Um, they do add up between the two modes, so, right? So I have 19 complete there from the 14 I got in Zombies and the few that I managed to pick up in multiplayer. But that is fundamentally how you get those medals for these challenges. And honestly, Zombies is the best way to do it.
Okay, just briefly, we'll touch on the other medals that have been added for the 80s challenges that may be somewhat perplexing, although not as much as the Become War medals. The Have a Blast medals uh, in multiplayer are just simply getting kills with explosives. From what I understand, the War Machine and Kill Streaks do not count for this, so it has to be a launcher or a grenade, but any explosive kill earns us in multiplayer. In Zombies, it has to be three explosive kills quickly, so either with a single explosion or in rapid succession. Um, the light em up medals is any kill you get with a death machine, which is the minigun, in multiplayer. So every kill with a death machine is a medal. In zombies, it is, a f it is five kills quickly with the death machine. Um, the, this is personal medals using melee weapons. This in multiplayer is just getting any kill with a melee weapon. And in zombies, I believe it is getting seven melee kills rapidly with a melee weapon. It doesn't have to be a melee weapon in zombies. I think it can just be the melee, like if you have a knife secondary for zombies, but it's seven kills rapidly in zombies, is my understanding. Um, and then the jackrabbit medals, three kills, That those are all straightforward. Chopped up medals, I, uh, this is just tomahawk kills in multiplayer. I'm not sure how many tomahawk kills you have to get in a row. What I imagine for zombies, because I haven't tested this and I didn't figure it out specifically, is you probably have to get a number of kills with the same tomahawk. That's how they've done zombies challenges in the past. I'm not sure how many kills you have to get with a tomahawk. I got two with a single tomahawk in zombies. It did not unlock, and then I couldn't find the tomahawk. Um, but this one's easy enough for multiplayer to do just with getting tomahawk kills. You know, 10 tomahawk kills, not the end of the world, even for multiplayer. So hopefully that explains some of those other medals for you. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful and it's going to help you become war like Rambo, then uh, please leave me a like. If uh, you didn't like this video, you can leave it a dislike. I prefer if you leave me a comment to let me know what I can do better. Like maybe get to the point, you son of a bitch. Uh, if you want to see more helpful videos like this or other random fun awesomeness that I do, check out my other videos and subscribe so I can just be all up in your grizz all the time. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.